Now that you're fully equipped, it's time to start collecting data in the field. Before you start taking any pictures of poles, pull up the field detail screen on your mobile device and make sure to get a sync shot from both cameras. Let's start with the SLR operator. As you approach your first pole, take a hallway photo for context. A hallway photo should be taken in landscape orientation and include your first pole, the next pole, and their shared span. For poles with many connections, take as many hallway photos as necessary. Once your crew partner has arrived at the pole and has the height stick perfectly in place, take a height photo from about 45 degrees. The pole height photo will be the picture delivered to your client and should be as clear and well lit as possible. Leave a bit of space at the top and bottom of the photo just for consistency. Depending on your project scope, you may need to take your height photo from a different angle to accurately measure a riser or other type of equipment. Once you've gotten a good height photo, let your partner know by giving them a thumbs up or yelling, got it. While your partner continues to take photos at the pole, start walking to the other side for the rest of your photos. If on the way you notice any cable wraps, this would be a good time to get a bit closer and take a zoomed in shot of the communication space to help your office staff better identify the owners of the cables. On the other side of the pole, 45 degrees if you can, take another photo but from the bottom of the communication space to the top of the pole. This side shot, which won't be calibrated, is taken in portrait orientation and provides additional context for office processing. You're not quite done yet. Before moving on to your mid-span, take a last hallway shot from the opposite direction. When you've both finished taking photos of the pole, mark it done on the mobile device. At the lowest point in your span, take a height shot while standing perpendicular to your crew partner. Make sure that the stick is straight and that the top isn't touching any power cables. After taking your photo, mark the span done midpoint on the mobile device. If you need to take any additional height photos to measure critical clearances, pan the dropper to the correct location, take your additional photo, then mark the spot done. Continue taking your pole and mid-span photos and marking the map until your job is complete. After finishing each height photo, make sure you're letting your partner know by yelling, got it, or good, so that they know when to move on. If you're running the height stick, your job is a little different. Begin by extending the height stick fully. Each section should click in place. As you approach your first pole, make sure you place the height stick as straight as possible against the pole with all your targets facing your partner. Be careful not to touch any energized elements with the stick and to not cover up any of the height targets with your hands. While you wait for the go-ahead from your partner, you can start taking photos of the pole. Depending on the scope, you will probably need to take photos of all power, tail, and inspection tags along with birthmark information, grounding wires, ground line circumference, and more. We also take a photo of the common power space from a third angle as we approach or leave the pole. This back shot will provide additional context for office processing. At mid-spans, make sure you're holding the stick as straight as possible so that you get the highest level of accuracy in your measurements. Make sure you collapse the top section of the stick if you're too close to neutrals or secondaries. Always use caution when crossing roadways. Thanks for watching.